Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and today you join me for another Forzathon guide which is where I show you guys the quickest and easiest ways to complete this week's Forzathon challenges. Now this week's one called Top of the Class wants you to own and drive any hypercar of your choice. So without further ado let's go and get stuck into this one. Now first of all you're going to want to pick yourself out a hypercar. So to start with I just filtered my hypercars in my garage. Now if you don't own any, you don't have to worry about it, you can always purchase one from the auction house or auto show. Um, the one I went for though was the Lamborghini Aventador LP700-4. I do have a tune for it, it's called S2, but unfortunately the share code wasn't working on it for some reason. Uh, but it is what it is. Anyway, the first challenge here wants you to earn 10 pass skills. Now I'm sure as you guys know, a pass skill is simply an overtake. Now. You, you can only basically get this when you're actually in a race so we're going to head over to the moorhead wind farm circuit now i didn't create a specific race for this you can just hop into the standard three lap race in your hypercar uh, the reason being is because one lap might not be enough it really depends you can do this as well on whatever difficulty you want now first of all you're going to want to obviously overtake the first part of the pack that's in front of you and get about four or five pass skills now what you can do from here is a couple of things you can do as I'm doing, as you can see, and waiting for the rest of the pack to catch up and overtake me. And then I follow and, and catch up to them and overtake as many of them as I can until, of course, I hit the limit of 10 pass skills to complete the challenge. Now, if, for instance, you have five or six cars in front of you at the beginning of the race and you overtake them straight away, you can always restart the race and just do that over again. So both methods are really, really quick and really, really easy. And this challenge will be over and done within a couple of minutes because at the end of the day, you are in a hyper car. So it's nice and quick and easy. Now, the next challenge here wants you to earn nine stars from a speed zone. So, of course, if you know me, you'll know which speed zone I like to use. But first of all, we're going to filter our map just to show all the speed zones available. Then we're going to head over to the forest green speed zone. Now, the reason for this is because three stars on here is a maximum of 90 mile an hour or a minimum. Sorry. Uh, and it's super, super easy to get as well. Like I said, because you're in a hypercar, you don't really need to tune it at all. You'll be able to nail this speed zone. So if you go around it above 90 mile an hour, which you're bound to do, then you'll have got three stars and then you have to just turn around, do it again and turn around and do it one last time to get your nine stars now you can do it on whichever speed trap you want you can do it on three different speed traps but i just find this one is definitely the quickest and most definitely the easiest one regardless of what car you're in now the final challenge here wants you to win a race at the lakehurst forest sprint and as i'm sure you guys know this is one where i have a blueprint race created for everyone so if you head over to custom events there is one i've created called super quick uh, this is one that i always use and the share code for this is 20867228 now this one you will make mince meat of the competition uh, as well you can do it on whatever difficulty you want and the competition just go off into the sort of forest area and you'll never see them again so it's a nice easy win and you only have to do that once now if you don't have the race unlocked it doesn't matter you can still type in the blueprint code and it will still pop up and you'll be able to do it or you can just find another one it's entirely up to yourselves or if you have got the race you can do the full thing it's really down to you but obviously i like to make them as quick and easy for you guys to complete so that is this week's fours of thumb hopefully this video did help you out if you're having trouble with anything just let me know down below in the comments and i'll try and help you out as best as i can Hopefully this did help, and if it did, and you're not subscribed, I would very much appreciate if you could subscribe to the channel, and dropping a like helps me out as well. Apart from that folks, I want to wish you all the best, make sure you stay safe, and take care.